What? Oh, nah, that's crazy. Hold up. I'm getting booed. Okay, listen, y'all. I just came back and I'm already getting booed. Listen, listen, bro. I know I've been gone for a total of, really, I've been gone for like 12 days, right? But, but really a split of 12 days because in that, in the middle of that stretch, I did drop that one Godzilla video that y'all viewed up. Y'all did a good job with that. So I really appreciate that. But yeah, why well, I've been gone for 12 days? I'm sorry. You know, holidays, Thanksgiving, family, getting ready for things. Um, I've, I, I've been cooking, you know, your boy can cook. So yeah, that's kind of. Y'all don't care. Okay, I'm sorry. My bad. How's y'all Thanksgiving? Y'all doing good? Y'all had a good Thanksgiving? I hope so. I hope y'all had a blessed Thanksgiving. What a what an awkward introduction. Matter of fact, I'm, I just realized I'm missing something. What's good, y'all, man? It's your boy, Cozy Joe, and we are back with another reaction video y'all man this time i am back and i'm better y'all you know what i'm saying i just got off of work i'm tired but i got this cup of joe to keep me up for y'all boys and girls so anyway we're gonna be reacting to some analog horrors i haven't really found too much maybe because everybody been busy for their thanksgiving break too <laughs> but if y'all can find some let me know bro listen the comments is right there the comments are the comment section is open and it's free to type you don't gotta pay me or nothing. The comments is right there. Let me know what to react on. I know y'all be watching these analog horrors, bro. Random tell analog horrors. I want them to be good. Y'all let me know. Any kind. I don't care what it is. But anyway, man, this first video is called Found Footage um, E7 Emergency Alert System. It's an analog horror. And it is by, uh... Oh, come on now. You gonna let me tap on it? You gonna let me tap on it? You gonna let me tap? Okay, I guess it's not. But don't worry, bro, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'll tag you in this mug. So without further ado, y'all, hope y'all like and subscribe and enjoy the show. Oh, my good. Oh, okay. I always hated that noise growing up. Still to this day. Still to this day. I do not like that noise. Listen, bro. It happens on a random. It happens on a random school night. You know what I'm saying? You in your room. You playing games. Next thing you know. You hear that mug in your living room, bro? That junk scares me. It scares me. For some reason, it just reminds me of Silent Hill, bro. All right, so EAS. This emergency broadcast is being announced in multiple counties in your area from local authorities. 2,825 right. people have gone missing. The Dang. following counties include Knox County, Horst County, Adam County. Okay. It is suspected that most of these missing people have become victims of falling out of reality into the back rooms. The back rooms is a space outside oh, oh, okay, our reality okay. where you can no clip into, which the chances are highly unlikely you will ever leave. Dang. The back rooms is described as having endless yellow rooms and hallways with damp, musty carpet. The environment may change over time to be any familiar uh -huh. place you have been to with a very empty and lonely atmosphere. Bro, you will bro, be alone just and do. Will most likely just imagine, bro. You're like the back rooms are actually like, like you know what I'm saying, like a real thing. Where, what, let's say, let's say one day you just hitting up this joint, you know what I'm saying? You, you over there smashing, you tapping it, you going crazy, and you fall down into the back rooms with your wee wee out and everything, butt naked with socks on. Just imagine, bro. That would suck. That's, that's a random, that's a random scenario I added in there. Let me add a more realistic one, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why I said that. I don't, I'm having fun, y'all. I'm having fun. All right, this, this this caffeine got me turned. Bro, bro, just imagine that. Imagine you on a date with an old lady. You know what I'm saying? You on a date and you just fall out of nowhere. She, she probably thought that you dished her or something the whole time. You stuck in an alternate reality. Not only you just fumbled a, a dime, but you also maybe possibly going to fumble your life. Like, that's crazy, bro. You never find anyone. There is a high chance you will run into things that aren't human. Okay. Do not make any attempts to communicate with these What is that, a tree stem? You will need to run away as quickly as possible. I don't think these you can run from that, bro. That thing got long species, limbs. Shapes and sizes. In behalf of the local authorities, we would also like to mention that these entities are now no clipping out of the back rooms and are phasing into our reality. There have been reports of home intrusions and deaths from these entities. Oh, okay. Why's the tank gotta be possessed, though? If you are missing a friend or family member, 
it is most likely they have fallen victim to death of an entity or have fallen into the back rooms. <laughs> Nigga stuttered or something, bro. In our previous broadcast, can communicate through radios or television sets. Well, let's, let's let's be real though. What if what if they they didn't fall into the back rooms? What if they just I don't know wasn't picking up no calls or nothing? Just you know you know how how people they just they just randomly just go MIA. I be doing that sometimes. Sometimes I be right there. I be active. Next thing you know, poof, I'm gone. No social media interactions, no text messages, no phone calls, no nothing. I hit my mysterious period sometimes. You know what? I might have to start doing that. Maybe people think I'm in the back rooms or something. It can mimic human beings and even appear as normal people who are victims of the back rooms. It is crucial to know who is missing and who isn't so you can distinguish if everyone is who they say they are. Make sure to lock all your doors and windows and stay armed to defend your household and family. If can, you hear a knocking at your can they turn into the dogs? The night, they can they can they turn to animals? Because, like, what if they turn to animals? Though you gotta kill your dog. Oh, go oh, knocking on the door. Okay, all right. Bright eyes, bright teeth. You know he brushed his teeth really good. It's Tyler. What? Oh! Did he come on? Oh, bro, did this bro, this nigga came on the window. You see that? Look, he's smiling. You know he was edging. You know he was edging. He was he was smiling. He knew exactly what was about to go on. He splattered. He failed edging though, but he splattered on the window. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what happened. I need to stop saying these nasty words. Cause YouTube's gonna wanna demonetize me. YouTube don't please don't. Please don't. I mean, it's not like I'm getting paid right now, but I'm just saying. But like we like, we don't, we don't took some drugs or something. We on a we on a we on a on an acid trip. No. All right. So uh, that was pretty good. That was pretty interesting. Like bro, like analog horror creators are like LeBron and D Wade in the heat when it comes down to emergency broadcast um, systems, um, anomalies that be looking like humans. I mean, bro, listen. <laughs> If I ever want to make an analog horror, that would be like my number one goatee. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, yep. That video right there is gonna be a bag. It's gonna be an instant bag. People's gonna love that. Oh, you wanna know what they should do? Instead of it being humans, let it be animals, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Like imagine your fish turning into some type of, uh, what is called an, uh, an anomaly. That's what y'all be calling it. Y'all be calling it anomalies. You know, little uh stretchy things. All right, so this one right here is another um emergency something, a uh, uh, EAS, Thanksgiving disease. Hey, listen, good thing I ain't dropped this before Thanksgiving. Y'all probably wouldn't be eating your turkey, your ham. Shoot, some of y'all probably don't even eat the meats. Y'all might just, y'all might be one of those side eaters, huh? Y'all probably one of those side eaters. Hey, listen, man, y'all gonna look at me funny. I'm not. I, I know y'all are, but I don't. I don't touch mac and cheese. I don't. I don't care who made it. I don't care if Chef Boyardee made it or Chef Gusto. I'm not eating no mac and cheese, no sir. But anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and tune in. This is by Craze Productions, by the way. So come on, boys and gals, let's have a barbecue. Barbecue? Maybe hold it. This Thanksgiving. Someone here already knows that. Well, go ahead. Just 25 calories a slice. Thanksgiving begins a very special time of the year for us. It's the time of peace and reflection. A Charlie Brown thing. Okay, okay. Sponsored by McDonald's. Wait, hold on. What'd that From say? From one end of the holiday table to the other, Kroger helps you serve the finest feasts. And above all, stay calm. It's Bugs Bunny's Thanksgiving. Okay. For Thanksgiving sale. Boy, hold up, man. Thanksgiving must have been going crazy back in the 80s. You know what I'm saying? They had Charlie Brown, Looney Tunes, so, so Sylvester. You know that cat, Sylvester? You know what I'm saying? Niggas went crazy back in the day with Thanksgiving, bro. I know some people be like, man, why you celebrating Thanksgiving, bro? That's for pilgrims, bro. You you, you, you celebrating pilgrims, bro? You worshiping pilgrims? Man, bro, ain't nobody care about the pilgrims. Nigga, listen, we here for the food and family. Who celebrates Thanksgiving for them pilgrims? Nobody can. We're here for food and family, bro. We don't care about that old traditional bull crap. Our traditional is eating food with family, bro. You know what I'm saying? People people like to get crazy when they come down to Thanksgiving, bro. 
You know, some of the floats in this parade just have to be part of it. Phoenix area Safeway stores are featuring Manor House Grade A turkeys. 37 cents a pound? What year was that? The 50s? Have a Thanksgiving roast turkey feast at Beef. Uh oh. Is this my computer? I know all I'm about to say. Shocking field is three men of an Oscar Mayer turkey. Ugh. Okay. That's nasty. That's nasty. That's nasty. Come on. Oh my. Nigga is deep throating his blood. Oh. Alright. At least his is more peaceful. He ain't, he ain't suffered though. Four out of five turkeys. This is not a test. Okay. This message is brought to you by the World Health Organization. WHO. Who? This message is meant for any right. family <laughs> I'm or sorry, I had to say that. purchased any product that contains turkey. If you happen to purchase any turkey product, throw it away immediately. Turkey used in most of these products has been identified with a new disease named Prion's disease. Prion's, okay. Also named the brain wasting disease. Okay. Prion disease is a degenerative disease that attacks the brain. Prions are folded proteins that are infectious and multiply once in the brain. Uh -huh. The infection process begins with. Wait, hold on. You want to know what's crazy though, bro? Ladies and a lot of horror people keep playing, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know, food is already being poisoned. But let's not get into that, though. Let's not, let's not get into that. But that's all I gotta say, bro. You know, you know, food out here already dangerous. Shoot, listen, I'm about to put y'all on game. Go to a meat market. Make sure that thing is fresh. I right, make sure that they slice the butt off that cow fully. No, listen, I'm not gonna get into that. That's gonna be saved for another time. I might put it on my Patreon. I haven't even started one yet. Once an individual consumes infected meat, there is no known cure once infected. Symptoms of the disease include dizziness, okay. confusion, uh -huh. nausea, All right. vomiting of blood, sudden death, Dang. severe abdominal pains, and loss of memory. If you have been infected, stay away from family, friends, and pets. I mean, at least they ain't get itis. By infected I just put you straight to sleep. What, what did that say? Do not worry. Well, the, the upcoming jump scare, the infected are here to help. What are you talking about? The disease and lightness. Nigga, the, the, the disease just took down the big boy. What are you talking about? It's like being reborn. You're dead. You're dead. That's what it is. Eat the turkey. I bet that turkey dry too. That's probably how all them people die. They don't choke. You know, you broke. One time I went to a nasty Thanksgiving. And bro, what's so crazy? Listen, I'm not trying to get into that. I'm not trying to be that person, bro. But this was a black woman. She made the Thanksgiving. So I'm already walking into that mud with high hopes and everything. I mean, the house was fully packed out, bro. Everybody in her, like her mama, her daddy, her cousins, her, her boyfriends were all there, bro. I got that plate, man. That mud was smelling so good, bro. Waiting hours for that food. You know what I'm saying, bro? We in the backyard playing games and whatnot. So anyway, I'm in the dining table. I'm, I'm looking at this plate. Ooh, I got my turkey. I got my ham. I got my greens. I got my dressing. No mashed potatoes. I mean, what I'm talking about. No mac and cheese, but I, but I do got mashed potatoes. I got everything you could think of, bro, except for mac and cheese. I took a bottle of that turkey. I was like, about choke myself. I about hot the prying on with what they was talking about. I'm like, this thing ain't got no flavor. I'm like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just biting on wood. By each crunch I was taking of the turkey, I was getting splinters on my gums and whatnot. Bleeding. I was like, oh no, bro. Okay, hold up. Let me see if the dressing can go ahead and save the turkey. So I went ahead and just folded. Like, bro, when I folded the turkey, it snapped like wood. <laughs> I went ahead and folded the mug and, and, you know, stuffed some of that dressing in it. I call it, I call it dressing. I don't call it stuffing. I call it dressing. So anyway, I went ahead and combined that. The dressing crumbled. It's like it been, it, it been sat outside for like maybe five days or so. The dressing crumbled like dust. I can blow it like this and it will disappear, bro. The dressing was gone. I was like, all right, you ruined the turkey. You ruined the dressing. So I was like, okay, all right. You know, dressing and turkey, you know, that comes with professional people that knows how to cook it. So 
me being nice, me being a thankful mood, I just let it slide. I just let it slide. That ham. How you dry the ham? You got all that grease, all that fat, all that juiciness that's on ham. How you dry the ham? One of the favorite, one of the most loving pieces of Thanksgiving, ham. The ham was dry. Tongue. Tongue felt like that I've been licking cement. Literally, bro. And I was like, I now nah, I, I didn't I didn't even combine that with nothing. I put, put, spit that mug out, man. I was like, nope, mm-mm, no sir. Moved on to the collard greens. The collard greens had no salt. No type of flavor. No nothing. I was like, bro, this ain't no way. I'm looking around me. I'm like, everybody else eating this up. Everybody else enjoying this. Oh man, this is good. This is good. I'm over here suffering. The only good thing I ate was cranberry sauce in the pie. I was so mad after that, bro. I called my dad, bro. I was like, man, bro, go ahead and start cooking, man. <laughs> but my dad can make the most juiciest turkey, man. But I, I, I went over that mud. I was eating. I, but I swear I gained 15 pounds. But anyway, I just I just hit y'all with a totally unnecessary story time in the middle of a video. My bad, y'all. All right, yes, yes, let it be deleted. Oh, that's it? Okay, all right. Interesting, the Thanksgiving disease. That would actually be terrible. That would, that would really be terrible, for real, for real. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. But hey, you can always have duck. Duck is good, too. You know what I'm saying? Just Ebenezer Scrooge has some. All right, boom, man. There's some more Godzilla content. Not gonna lie, Godzilla content is. I ain't gonna lie, it's, it, it's starting to get on me. I can't, I can't lie to you. Know it's interesting. Um, nothing too scary from what I've seen yet, but it's interesting though. So this one right here is called the Side by Incident, Godzilla Analog Horror, y'all. Let's go ahead and check it out, Brodies. Nine years of being off screen, Godzilla will return in movies. The movie is set to release next year. What? What? You saw about Godzilla minus or uh, Shin Godzilla? Shin Godzilla is pretty straight. There's been a few pr production setbacks. All right. Most of them involving um, new three meter Godzilla Cybot. Or a movie? How much you spent on that? Like a billion dollars or something? You know what? This would actually go crazy back in the 50s, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. This would, go, this would go dumb. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, bro, just look at the movement with it. Look, he moving his head. Yeah. I'll go crazy back in the day. Hey, guys, I think you got gingivitis, man. Buddy has not been brushing his teeth. Or if he has, he haven't been flossing. Look. He's staring at me all seductively like? You trying to get freaky? Alright, it's been a pain for all of us, especially when we use it for the new mass monster, Bagan. Who's the new monster? Who's Bagan? For the big final fight, Godzilla kills Bagan by breaking his neck. Oh, by biting his neck, my bad. Alright, who's Bagan? We were originally supposed to use the suit actors for the scene, but the director insisted for the cybot to be used. I guess that's smart, you know, people been turning to Godzilla. But what happened was unexpected. Uh, okay. Alright, so the suit held up. I ain't gonna lie, nigga look tough. I'm not gonna lie to you. You telling me he, he lost a Godzilla? You got horns. He must have got nerfed. That's what happened. MCU be doing the same thing. But it, when it came time to do the scene, they pulled out the Cybot. Ah, uh, dang. Y'all don't put a human inside the Cybot? That like a like a Bakugan character, bro. But things went wrong fast. Yep, yep, yep. Dude turned into the Cybot. I mean, he turned into Baggin. When, when will y'all learn to stop putting these people in the suits, man? Baggin's suit actor got into position for the scene. Okay. Oh, what? His head came off? Inside the suit? What's that? A killer robot? The nigga said nope. <laughs> Whoa. 
That thing is the one. The one who took us. He, he came for us while we were dreaming. What? He's coming. The copying or unauthorized viewing of this tape is illegal. Remove the tape from your player immediately. Matter of fact, bro, Toho, man, Toho, you be on some slick stuff, bro. You know what I'm saying? With that, with that other recent guys, little John, I don't drop. You gonna copyright it. Whoa, 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 before I dropped it, 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 you know, you know what I'm saying? Before you drop a video, it'll let you know if something's copyrighted or blocked. So, you know, I went ahead and cut that mug out anyway, you know what I'm saying? But Toho, you actually might be behind some devious situations. Mm-hmm. Because, see, what if... What was I about to say? Oh, yeah. What if you put a microwave in... Oh, okay, I'm just talking. My bad, y'all. I'm just talking. I'm just yapping at this point, bro. I don't even worry about it. All right, y'all, man, that's gonna be it for right there. Um, it had to be short, it had to be three. Just for the simple fact, I do have to go to work early in the morning tomorrow. Like, bro, I gotta wake up at 4 a.m., bro. But, but, trust me, um, I got y'all. I got y'all most definitely for the whole week, all right? I, it, it might it might be one day i don't know but listen trust me i got y'all i got y'all just listen relax chill okay i got y'all with that being said man i really do hope that like y'all enjoyed these videos i hope that y'all enjoyed my little story time that i had about um thanksgiving a few years ago and like i said i hope that y'all had a blessed thanksgiving man and um i thank y'all for really just showing me a lot of love even while i was gone like bro like what 12 additional subscribers while i was gone like bro that's crazy to me bro like y'all really y'all really rocking with me like y'all really actually rocking with me so i really do appreciate that um one thing i do ask is just hey man engage more bro you know what i'm saying like i try engage more you know what i'm saying the comment section is right there it's open it's free it's free to use so yeah man um then you know that I'm, I'm just gonna stop yapping from right right here i'm gonna stop yapping other than that bro y'all stay safe y'all stay blessed man keep god in your life cozy joe is out love peace and chicken grease